When the heart rate is less than 60 per minute, it is called a slow heart rate or bradycardia. In some cases, a slow heart rate is not a problem. Around 2% of the healthy population have bradycardia, especially when the person is physically fit. If a person has symptoms due to a slow heart rate, then the top five symptoms are fatigue, dizziness, chest pain, shortness of breath, and fainting. We will discuss the top five causes of bradycardia. The most common cause of a slow heart rate is aging. Generally, during aging, cells are destroyed gradually, including cells responsible for creating electrical impulses in the heart, which causes the heart rate. The most common symptoms of bradycardia during aging are fatigue and dizziness, which is a general feeling of being unsteady or off-balance, and lightheadedness, feeling like you might faint or pass out. How quickly such negative changes in the heart start is highly dependent on genetic and lifestyle factors. For some, it starts in the early 60s, and for others, it starts after the late 70s. The primary treatment for age-related bradycardia is to treat underlying chronic diseases if they exist. For those not effectively managed, pacemaker implantation is also an option. The second most common cause of bradycardia is ischemic heart disease and heart failure. In both these conditions, heart tissue is damaged and it directly impacts the heart's electrical system and heart rate. When a person has ischemic heart disease, the most common symptom can be chest pain during physical exertion. Diagnosis is made by ECG, a stress test where heart functioning is assessed during physical stress, and angiography, when the health of heart blood vessels is assessed. Treatment of ischemic heart disease includes nitrates, which dilate blood vessels, and beta blockers or calcium channel blockers, which, although important medications for ischemic heart disease, can exacerbate bradycardia and therefore require close monitoring. Also, angioplasty and stenting if heart blood vessels are significantly narrowed. Sometimes bypass surgery is required. For bradycardia, the primary treatment is pacemaker implantation if it cannot be adequately managed. When a person has heart failure, the heart becomes weak and is unable to pump blood effectively. Usually, those aged more than 60 with heart failure have shortness of breath, especially when lying down, fatigue and weakness, and swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet, which is called edema. And a persistent cough because of fluid in the lungs also. During echocardiography, in many cases, heart chambers are enlarged, called dilation. Sometimes heart walls can be thinned or thickened depending on the types of heart failure. The primary treatment of heart failure is diuretics and ACE inhibitors. Medications are the third most common cause of bradycardia, responsible for bradycardia in around 25% of cases. Hypertension, antiarrhythmic medications cause bradycardia most commonly, such as beta blockers like atenolol and metoprolol. Calcium channel blockers used for heart disease, such as diltiazem and verapamil, and digoxin, used for heart failure and arrhythmias, and antiarrhythmic drugs such as amiodaron. Treatment involves dose reduction or changing medications. If not possible, treatment is permanent pacemaker implantation. The fourth and less common cause is hypothyroidism, when the thyroid gland releases fewer thyroid hormones than normal. It slows down metabolism and decreases heart rate also. Treatment is thyroxine, which replaces the deficient thyroid hormone. The fifth most common cause is sleep apnea, which causes bradycardia, especially at night time, and is responsible for 15% of cases. Commonly it is associated with obesity and being overweight. In this case, the solution is weight loss, avoiding sleeping on the back, avoiding alcohol and sedatives. Surgery is the last resort if other treatment methods fail. Other less common causes include electrolyte imbalances during kidney disease, some infectious diseases like Lyme disease, supplements like omega-3 fatty acids, which have a cardioprotective function and some effect on the modulation of heart rate, Kenzyme Q10, which helps energy production and can improve heart function and heart rate in some cases, L-carnitine, an amino acid that is also helpful in some cases.
and magnesium, which is effective in the case of magnesium deficiency, because it can cause arrhythmias. Potassium and calcium may also have some roles.